So in Karnataka, JDS has moved all of its MLAs to a resort. And it's a similar story, similar script that's playing out in Maharashtra, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. And every single political party is doing it. That's right, MLAs are being herded off to resorts by the BJP, the Congress, as well as regional parties in the run-up to the Rajya Sabha elections tomorrow. And the kind of images, the kind of videos that are emerging from these resorts show that all of these legislators are sitting in the lap of luxury, having the time of their lives. <laughs> Music, yoga, swimming and cricket. That was Rajasthan Social Welfare Minister Tikram Juli doing to a half volley what Sachin Tendulkar does. In the pavilion are Water Resources Minister Mahendrajit Singh Malviya and MLA Amit Chachan closely following the proceedings and keeping tab on the score. Now the real scoreboard. The Congress has 108 MLAs. It can win two seats but needs 15 more to ensure Pramod Tiwari makes it to the Rajya Sabha. The party is facing a stiff challenge from BJP-supported media baron Subhash Chandra who's stealing runs in singles and doubles. What it means is that MLAs of the Congress and BJP are locked up in luxury resorts in Rajasthan where they're being kept busy and entertained while the battle of nerves continues. The face-off will cost the two parties quite a sum. The Congress has booked 150 rooms at the Taj Aravali in Udaipur. The room rates there range from 25,000 to 78,000 rupees per night. The BJP has booked 60 rooms at the Devi Ratan Resort in Jaipur, where rooms cost 10,000 rupees per night. Even as these politicians enjoy luxurious facilities in the name of strategizing before the Rajya Sabha elections, it is the common people of the state who have been left crappling. The story is the same in Maharashtra. The Shiv Sena, MCP and Congress have put up MLAs at luxury hotels. The Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi and the BJP are in a face-off to win an additional seat in the Raj Sabha. In Haryana, the Congress is sweating it out to ensure safe passage for Ajay Makan. It has air-dashed its MLAs to Chhattisgarh. Though the party has the numbers in the assembly, it fears poaching by independent candidate Karthike Sharma, who's backed by the BJP, and Dushyant Chautala's JJP. The political party's luxury break comes in the backdrop of pressing crises like price rise, unemployment and water shortage. Those issues and the Ahmadmi will just have to wait. With Devankur Vadhavan in Jaipur, Bureau Report, India Today.